Okay, so there's a little bit of delay on that thing, too. Yeah. That amp sounds great. I love it. It's, I wrote a lot of the riffs on this thing. It's like crunchy. Yeah, riff and sounds riffs. produced. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about uh, let's talk about your guitar. And I'll go ahead and I'll just we'll sort of start from the beginning. Okay. Uh, okay, so tell me about this guitar you're playing. What are we looking at here? This is my new uh, signature model. It's from Dean Guitars. And... Uh, I wanted something simple but still dark looking, so I kind of chose our old mascot, the, uh, the skull. This is from the dates back to where we used to call Legacy, and it's the Legacy Skull dude. And uh, basically, this top part is like a it's like a goat head and some dragon. <laughs> so what we did is we kind of put it up on the headstock, and uh, the, the Dean logo wings turn into the dragon, and. Uh, it goes to 11. It's killer. <laughs> it's and cool though. It's nice and heavy. It's a, you know, it's a traditional, uh, the D neck, you know, it's got the V neck in the back. I shaved it down a little bit. So it's really, really cool to shred on it, but it's still fat enough for, you know, crunching in for digging in for rhythms. It's got the 81, uh, AMG pickup and the 85. And, uh, it's going to come equipped with uh, 10 to 52 DR high beam strings. And, uh, yeah, it's killer. It's, great guitar okay so let's tackle a couple of the rhythm parts from the record what about um, what about henchman ride that seems like just a, a great great crazy rhythm part on that one yeah, can you henchman, go ahead and just detail what you're doing sure. there henchman ride is uh, one of the songs off the new record and uh, it's got two basic riffs in it it's got the the, the opening riff which is more of like a muted single string kind of kind of vibe. It's more of old school uh, harmonics and stuff like that. And then it goes into the rhythm for the verse, which is more of a chugging rhythm, chugging rhythm, which we haven't done for a while. And it's uh, it's very percussive. So the the opening riff is more of the muted single string thing. It's uh, Uh, that's all single string stuff, and uh, it's you know it it really goes along with the drums good. It's more it's more of a percussive kind of rhythm. This whole song is percussive, so the drums are kind of following exactly what the guitars are doing. So they're as one, and uh, then the verse rhythm, which is more of like a chugging thing, it's more of like a you know the sound of an engine of a motorcycle or a train, and that's kind of what I was going for. And it's uh, the rhythm goes like. <laughs> Very, you know, it's percussive. The right hand is very like a drum, do 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 kind of a vibe. And you said that you will sometimes hear drum grooves and drum fills in your head when you're coming up with rhythm parts. Is this one that's an example of something like that? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's uh, you just picture the drums, you know, like a a, a battle cry or something. You know, just like do 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 do. You know, or or it could sound like an engine or anything. Anything that's heavy and just, you know, just wickedly crazy like that. And I try to put, like, a guitar to it or vice versa. What about uh, More Than Meets the Eye? You want to go ahead and detail your yeah, riffs in that one? More Than Meets the Eye is uh, it's influenced by a, a, an older an older song, a song called Barracuda by Heart. And it's just got that nice, you know, groove kind of picking sound. Uh, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's not the exact replica of it, but it's just that's where the vibe came from. Um, and then it's got the, uh, the the melody, which is for the vocal, and it comes from the guitar. So I'll start with the, the first melody and go into the verse. <laughs>
Okay, now can you show me what's going on after you play like the G and the F power chords that you're holding there? There's a really cool part that happens yeah, up above basically with the, great right hand work too. Yeah, the G to the the G to the F part is the vocal part, and uh, in between that is like a filler thing. Uh, we just do a guitar, so I could just a little lick thrown in there, but it, it's kind of it's kind of trademarky for that part. You know, we wanted to make sure that you know it's a cool riff. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm going from G to F. Then after that, instead of just going E like that, we throw in some riffs, so it goes. <laughs> okay, I want to get a close up on what your right hand's doing when you have that dang, 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 the higher part yeah. after the G to F there. So let me see if I can train. Got it? Yep. So, so I'm going to start with the G and And you nailed those harmonies on the fly there. Well, it's funny because so a lot of the harmonies that I do um, when I'm when I'm going between uh, half step and full step, um, when I'm actually doing the when I actually do the recorded harmonies, I do a lot of it's all full step. So like the harmony would be just full step. But if you wanna if you wanna cheat. Just do all half step, and you can do this chord right here. It's pretty close, but if you actually heard it, we had a split screen. You'd be able to tell the difference between doing like a full, full step. Okay. Um, what about uh, the persecuted? Won't forget. If we do like one more. One more thing. Uh, what's going on with that? That's uh, that's all muted, single, fast string stuff. And uh, basically, what, what what's going on there is kind of like, kind of like that little lick I was doing on more than ECI. But it's uh, it's going from the E and doing pull offs on the on the fifth string, the A string. And let me see if I can remember how to play that. Um, so basically, what I'm doing is I'm going. doing some pull-offs, I'm going. So, so I'm doing the chugging. That's kind of a cool little lick there too. It's like kind of get that harmonic, and then mute it. Excellent, excellent. That's going to be great, that's man. That cool? Yep, that's totally.